What are y'all doing? Watching a video. <laughs> yep. How to catch a lobster in Florida. <laughs> so I go down, find him, pretend this is the head of the lobster, and that's his tail. I'll like lightly tap them, and then they start walking, and I'll direct them out. And then once they're out, just, I mean, even a foot or two off that ledge, you guys swim down because they don't like to stick around for too long out in the open. They'll start squirming around, whatever. And I'll kind of hold it in place, but you swim down with the net. What you really want to be is face eye to eye with the lobster because they swim backwards, they shoot backwards at the tail. So you want to be eye to eye all the time. So kind of angle that. So you come in like that, not too far away, and then just have the net over the top of them. Keep it at like a 45 or so. Boom, and then just slap it down, hold it. Lobs are gonna start shooting back, like all over, like this. You guys are gonna have gloves on, they're not gonna hurt you, so don't worry about it. You just grab the lobster or grab this, and it, it's a pouch. It kind of creates a pouch right there, but just kind of hold on to them however you can. Cool. So we'll, that's it. Is yeah, that, catch that, every one of them that, now. That easy. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Everybody ready? I'm ready. Pump. Oh, them lungs, oh, Toby. Drop them lungs. <sighs> Inhale, exhale. I got to chill out. I have confidence that you're going to miss them. <laughs> How do you know if it's good? He see the... the on the bottom part of the shell there, it doesn't clear their head. If it goes over, then it's short. This guy from the tip of him to the point, it doesn't clear, so he's good. Right. We've got a lobster buried deep in this hole here and we're trying to irritate him enough to come crawling out. We'll see what we can do. So we just caught 20 lobster. We have one in here, we have 19 in there. Um, it was insane, it was a really cool experience. Went down at first, didn't know what I was doing. Missed, missed it like two or three times. Then I slowly figured it out. So what I was doing was, instead of putting the net on the ground, I would like just like, just like go like this and it would always just go right underneath the net. So then what I had to do is just go all the way over it slowly and put the net down it down you get them. It took a couple of tries and it started figuring it out and it was really cool. And everyone else did it too. Callie got one, Cammy got one. Cammy's actually really good too. And Eric got some. So. Cammy got 19. 19. Cammy <laughs> got all 19. We, we all caught one. So it's cool. Okay so we moved locations guys. Um, this is a little bit shallower than when we started but I think that this is where most of the boats came this morning. So we've only really seen the one that I just caught in maybe like two others, so they, they cleaned this place out pretty well. But this is still just really awesome to just be swimming and being able to see this water. So Oh, careful, you it up, it up, it up! <laughs> 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 I might have to jumping in, don't worry. Drop safety. <laughs> <laughs> Today was an awesome day, caught 25, 26 lobster. We got 
or about 10 really 10 to 12 really good sized ones. Um, shout out to Rob, could done without him. He did a great job. Was, oh, he poked it out for us. I literally would have caught maybe one if I had to go down there and poke it. Couldn't hold breath long enough. Sarah too couldn't help it. They're about the light power. Great day. Um, caught a bunch of lobsters. Really cool trip. Couldn't ask for much more. Twist. Cool. Wow. Just like a giant crawfish. Mm -hmm. Exactly. But it tastes way better and way more. I don't know. I love crawfish. Actually, yeah, crawfish, crawfish is. Crawfish are really good, but they're a lot of work, you know. Yeah, it's for like <laughs> even less meat. Yeah. You're just pulling out the gut line of the intestines? Yep. I do, but I have yeah. to close yeah, Easy like enough. Oh, shoot. Here we go. All right, so you're going to go with mahi, blackfin, uh, lobster tails, swordfish. Woo! Whole shebang. Be awesome. Okay, it's really, really good. Y'all ready for dinner? Ready. So excited. Really? Uh, you finish that? Yep. <laughs> So we just gave our, our lobster and fish to them. They were kind of confused. And I think it might be a, a little bit too much, but hey, that's okay. This is the swordfish from our first trip, courtesy of Nick. Then we have the mahi here, it's blackened. And then we have seared tuna, it should be kind of raw in the middle there. There we go. Kobe, what do you think? That's all raw. The lobster. Look at the lobster. Oh, he's got his mac and cheese. There we go. Wow. All right, so we just finished dinner. It was amazing. That was our night. Um, end of the video pretty much. We're going to talk about fishing tomorrow. We'll probably won't catch, hopefully we'll catch the tarp, but it's won't video tape, just for fun. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. It was an awesome time. Follow me at Tim Kite Fishing on my Instagram, and I'll see y'all next time.